Hey guys, welcome to nursery video update number two. The latest development is that there is furniture finally in the room, so I'm gonna take you guys around a little tour and show you what's new. So video number one, I was 25 weeks and the painting had been finished. I gave myself a deadline because we were actually leaving for England like in two days. So just met the deadline to finish painting. Now I am, I'm on the last day of my 29th week. So tomorrow I'm 30, 30 weeks and thank God the furniture arrived. So now we can start moving on, progressing the other little details. Everything was kind of in motion. I had ordered all this furniture before I left in time for it to arrive when we're back. So I am back and we are ready to get this room on a roll. <laughs> so this is the Luca baby dresser with topper. I'm so happy with how this came out. I absolutely love this. There's a padded changing cushion, I guess. I got to pick the fabric, so I picked gray. And this is basically gonna serve as a station for changing the baby's diapers. So it's really good. It's like a storage unit as well. There's drawers. I can keep everything organized. Basically, all the changing essentials are gonna go here. The diapers, sanitizers, wipes, creams, all that stuff. There's a lot of space. And I'm really excited about this. And I feel like you know, I can definitely use this after. I can take off the topper and then just use it as a normal dresser after and put stuff on top. So that's that. So this is our crib. Would you believe me and John assembled this together? Just the two of us. Granted, I didn't do a lot of work. I just kind of held everything in place. He was the one like on his knees fixing everything, but we assembled this together. I'm very proud of us. And I did mention in the last video, this is actually the hand-me-down crib from Teresa. So thank you so much. It really, really just saved us from buying a new one, to be honest. So we're so thankful. Now I'm just gonna look for really cute bedding, really cute bed sheets to make it come to life. So here is the kind of feeding, resting, relaxing corner of the room. This is called the Sebi Rocker. That is the Sebi Ottoman. And this is um, a Stockholm side table with matting. I'm really glad I chose that detail. And yeah, everything I kind of chose, I chose the same finish for all the Philips furniture, if you noticed. So it's a mahogany antique white. So everything sort of fits together and turned out really, really well. It goes just how I imagined. And I actually got to choose um, the fabric as well, so that's a nice little customization. And then our last little addition is this footstool. I chose, I actually chose the same fabric for everything, and my mom was the one who convinced me I needed a footstool. I wasn't sure, but I found myself just kind of resting on this and using my phone sometimes when I'm in this room. So I'm sure we'll put this to good use. I am glad my mom convinced me that I needed this. And so we do have a rug that has been here actually for a while. I don't want to put it out just yet. I have a bunch of stuff downstairs that needs to be brought up now that the furniture is here. I'm more than willing to do it. So the rug will probably wait a while. I just don't want it to get dirty because I'm weird like that or dusty. The next challenge is this bookshelf. As you can see, there is a lot of space. I just, I'm having a hard time thinking how I want to organize everything. I need some sort of storage solution to figure out how to organize, display, store, and just, you know, make the best use of this space as possible. It would have been way too much work to like demolish this and do something else. So my next challenge, that's for video number three. So we need to find some answers. I hope video number, <laughs> number three will have answers to how this is gonna take shape because there really is so much space. It's just how to display it, how to organize it, how to make it look nice. But I'm confident 
we'll find something, we'll eventually find something, and that's what I hope to share with you in the next video. Stay tuned for that one.